Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you uh, my mini review of the Western Digital My Passport 5 terabytes. Keep in mind this is a hard drive, this is not an SSD and basically I bought it just for volatile files, for example video recording, taking pictures abroad and basically I have a solution to store lots of uh, data but one that I can use relatively short period of time after recording and I really don't mind after that if it's erased or something goes wrong or if the hard drive you know, fails for any reason, I won't really care about it that much. Also verified that the data that I see on the website actually matches the same model that I see printed on the box of the product. Which as you can see here, it does. Now in terms of specification, you can see it 5 terabytes, uh, micro B, we're going to show you this is actually uh, not a standard connector, which is one of the minuses for this one. Transfer rate up to uh, 5 gigabits per second. Uh, the interface is uh, 3.2 Gen 1 and also uh, backward support uh, to also uh, USB 2.0. And the thing is that based on the specifications, uh, 5 gigabits per second basically adhere to the USB 3.1 Gen 1. Again, if you think um, there's something wrong here that I'm saying, let me know in the comment section below. And basically 5 gigabits per second is equivalent to uh, uh, 640 megabytes per second. I'm going to show you a speed, a read and write speed test in a moment. First of all, the unboxing. So this is the box. I'm going to show you also the size, of course, relative to my hands. You can see how big it is and it's relatively very small. Three year warranty. And basically it's uh, also uh, support 256 bit uh, AS, basically encryption which you can enable, there's an option, you can install the software that already comes, it's execute, uh, uh, exe file, sorry, on the device, so you can install it and enable backup, uh, encryption, and also some utilities to, you know, just uh, make sure your driver is uh, working well. All right, let's take a look, there's a cable, I'm gonna show you the cable in a moment. So this is the size of the drive. As you can see, not super small, but not too large, definitely something you can carry it with you anywhere you go. Put it on a table, it doesn't really take a lot of space. Although it's a bit on the thick size, I, I would say. I mean, it's not super slim as you can see. Definitely gonna be, uh, let's say, twice this, the depth of your mobile phone, something like that. And if you're interested, this is the height, width and depth in millimeters. Also bought uh, a case so I can actually carry it with me when I go abroad, so it would be safe. It's not really has any like strong protection, I think, uh, you know, features like some of the other ones that can really stand falls and other dust and all this stuff. It's not marketed at that and I don't think it has any features like that. Uh, this is the cable, you can see it's kind of proprietary cable, which was quite unfortunate. Uh, again, because if the cable goes, again, I need to buy another cable like that. And you can see that the connector here is the same. So basically, again, support uh, should be 3.2 uh, as advertised. But again, it's kind of weird. Usually you go with like USB-C to USB-C or something like that. It might not support all users for everybody, but it's okay. So it is connected uh, to the device as long as I keep it safe. And again, what I'm going to do with it? I'm not going to really go with it outside a lot. Just going to be in the room, in the hotel or in my house. And that's about it. Inside, you're going to find a software you can install, which I recommend doing so. You don't have to use it, but I recommend installing it anyway. Once connected, which are connected, by the way, to a USB port uh, 3.2, which my laptop supports. Test in a moment. Here you can see the LED lights with blinks. You can actually turn it off with the software if you install it. So if you don't like this LED light, uh, you know, emitting light, you can actually turn it off. I'm going to show you this in a moment. Uh, the hard drive, by the way, it's super quiet. I can't hear anything. It's just super, super, like silent. At least to my ears. So what I did was directly connecting the hard drive to the port 6, which is USB 3.2 Gen 1 on my laptop. I verified that. Again, nothing in between directly to the laptop. So now to the speed test, basically I'm writing uh, to the disk. I'm going to see this in a moment. After that, I'm going to read from the disk. This is writing to, transferring a file from the hard drive, from the, my SSD hard drive. You're going to see it starting in a moment. This is, by the way, the drive that I have, uh, 520 uh, gigabytes, all right? 
so now you see the speed and basically uh, this is 100 it maxed out at uh, 120 megabytes per second so based on my red i've actually expected more than that considering it's connected to the uh, usb 3.2 port on my device and even on the side that i'm actually bought it, it advertised as 3.2 so it seemed that well that's again they say up to right they didn't say that's the uh, speed but i'm getting 120 megabytes per second write speed so yeah, so even down a bit and up a bit, but overall it stayed around the 120 megabytes a second throughout. All right, moving on to the read speed test. Same results, maxed out at 120 megabytes per second. A bit more, sometimes a bit, uh, you can see drops, but overall around 120 megabytes per second read speed. The other option once you install by the way the software will be utilities, backup and security for encryption the drives or backupping files and folders and the utilities for just checking that everything is okay with your drive. The ability to uh, put the drive to sleep if it's not used and control the LED lights turn it on and off and drive erase to totally erase the drive and format it in different either NTFS or XFAT. Uh, keep in mind, I hope this uh, is accurate. I did as much as I can to make sure that, you know, what they give you here in terms of tasks will be accurate, but maybe I missed something. I'm not an expert in this. Um, just testing it out. Overall, small, quiet. Uh, I don't like the proprietary cable. Um, and by the way, the other side connects to USB-A, not USB-C. Uh, I prefer USB-C, but nonetheless, it's okay. I can already use an adapter if I want to, which I have. And it's uh, relatively lightweight. And uh, yeah, speed overall good. I expected more. And that's about it. Overall, I'm happy. Five terabytes, I can store whatever I like. Uh, again, volatile files, so I didn't mind that it's hard drive compared to SSD. And I do uh, expect it to reduce in terms of speed when it gets more fragmented. But again, you can always defragment it. This is a hard drive. And that's about it for this mini review. A bit longer, no, but I shared whatever I could. Hopefully, this will help you decide whether you want, you know, it's good for you or not. Make your own decision. Thanks for watching.